It is the first comprehensive genome clinic for children in the world, and it's right here in Canada. Doctors at Toronto's Hospital for Sick Children will map out a child's entire DNA in hopes of coming up with unique and customized ways to battle hard-to-treat and rare disorders. Dr. Ronald Cohn is the chief of the Division of Clinical and Metabolic Genetics at the hospital, and Dr. Sarah Bowden is a co-lead of the Genome Clinic, and they are both with me this morning in studio. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Thank you for having us. So, Dr. Cohn, let me just start by saying I was shocked to read that this was the first of its kind in the world. That's correct. So, and yet genome mapping is not new. It's not, and uh, technology has brought us to a point where we can sequence the entire genome with all of the million variants which are hidden in this genome. But what has not happened is that a comprehensive way of how to deal with all this information has been put into place. So we put a research program together with this genome clinic to really learn how to analyze all this information. What are you going to do with unexpected findings if you were not looking for a primary disease? What are you going to do with psychosocial and ethical impacts of what you're finding? And we're doing this in a collaborative way with computer scientists, laboratory scientists, other physicians, but most importantly with parents and their children and their families in order to learn and understand all of this and then offer it to many, many children around Canada. Okay, Dr. Wood, let's get down to basics. How is this done? How do you map that genome? Okay, so all we need basically is about two mils of blood from a child. That's so it's it. a very small blood sample that, that's taken and we're taking that um, anyway because the children that are enrolled in this study are already being offered genetic testing because they have a condition that we're trying to understand. So basically they would be having a blood sample anyway, so we ask permission from the family to use some of that blood sample then to be sent to have the genome sequenced as well as the genes that we already know that can cause that child's disease. And so it looks at the cause of a particular disease, does it also diagnose future diseases? That's one of the premises and promises we have here. We are hoping to identify changes in your gene which will predict and therefore then prevent future onset of disease. If you know something before the disease starts, you can take measures either by treating, by changing your lifestyle and many other things to prevent that disease from happening. Predict though how far into the future? Well, if you think about the Angelina Jolie um, case recently, so Angelina Jolie knew that she was at a very high risk of breast and ovarian cancer, and so she took the decision to have surgery before she um, likely got breast cancer. So, I mean, we could potentially be predicting in childhood that a, a child potentially could be at a very high risk of developing some kind of cancer in adulthood, but some of the cancers that we see in children, we might even be able to predict as well. So it would be a surveillance um, option for the <coughs> for the child and for the family members. Okay, who is a candidate for this and how open do you find parents are to having this done? So the, the children that come to sick kids are usually there because they have a, a, a severe condition or that they need treatment. And so the, the doctors looking after them at the moment use genetic testing to help them understand why that child is presenting, say, with a kidney disease or a heart disease. So the candidates that we are asking to participate in the genome clinic would be the parents of children and the children who are already being offered genetic testing to get to the bottom of why they're sick in the first place. And so we're offering, uh, so as an add-on, well, if you are already having genetic testing to look for the cause of your primary disease, we could also look at the rest of your genome and see whether we can find any other features that could help us predict how you will... Um, be in the future how your health will be. But there's some controversy around this, isn't there, Dr. Cohn? Because once you put that genie out of the bottle, you can't put it back in. And you know that in a sense firsthand because you did it on yourself. I did. And I will tell you, it was probably one of the most powerful experiences I went through within the last few years of practice in medicine to think about the implication this has, not as much on me, but on my children, uh, on my family. So <clears throat> I did it and I was very happy to do it uh, and I learned that I have a slightly increased risk for thyroid cancer which I can now do something about mm. and I can prevent this from happening. But one of the reasons why we put this study together is to actually deal with what are you going to do with this information, how do you store it in a safe way. We want to learn as much as possible to 
extract all the good of the genome and then apply it to humans. And the bottom line for parents is they want to know that their child will be better. Exactly. That's the outcome. Yeah. I think one of the biggest hopes we have is that we will identify ways how we can actually either identify new treatments or change the treatment of the individual patient in a way that without the genetic knowledge would not have been possible. And what if someone wants to do it just because? Because they're wondering if they perhaps have passed something on to their child. Are they eligible to do the testing? No, so we, we really are only looking for um, helping parents understand the cause of their child's illness that's presenting at the time. So we're not taking children who are otherwise fit and well and offering to sequence their genome for them. Um, and we really are asking the parents, okay, so what do you want to know? We're not going to force this information on the parents. There's a really long consent process that the parents have to go through and understand exactly the implications for their child. So it's a, a good 90 minutes with one of our genetic counsellors who explains everything about the pros and cons of this process to It them. is uh, fascinating. Dr. Sarah Bowden, Dr. Dr. Ronald Cohn, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Appreciate it. Thank you for it. having thank us. You very much.